<laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Welcome back to another episode of 3000 Games of Heroes Gaming J. And today we're playing Metroid Zero Mission, I believe. Um, now that's a way to wake you up in the morning. Uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, one of the games in the book, A Thousand Video Games, was played before you die. It's about 2004. So, let's see. Well, I'm trying to think of, like, my own gaming history, you know? Like, in, uh, in the early 90s, I was so into, like, Nintendo and stuff. Then I got into more PC by, like, the, um, by, like, the, the, god, what's the word? Millennium. Because uh, that's when I started university, and then I was mostly into PC gaming, and then I got into original Xbox. So, I don't think I was playing any game... I mean, I never had a Game Boy Advance. It always would have been emulation, but I don't think I was playing any Game Boy Advance um, when this came out. So, anyway, it's a, it's a new adventure here today, as it always is. Uh, Metroid is one of those franchises that... Uh, I had the original one on NES, and it was like a where the F do I go kind of game. And I was a kid. I had no idea. And I liked it. I really liked playing the first one. I can even picture the original uh, music in the game when you start running through the world. It's like dun, da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 dun um, So yeah, I, I, I liked it. Uh, it was a great NES game, even though I never got far and I never knew what I was doing. Um and I think randomly, so I'm going to talk for a second here so you guys can just read this in the background, but randomly I would find like Metroid passwords in like books or like on somebody's like rented manual from some other game or something. And so I never got far in the game myself, but I had a few passwords I had saved that would let you have like the rocket launcher or the freeze gun or like a few other things, things I had no idea how to actually find them in the real game. So my only complaint with Metroid is that it almost is like, uh, for a kid at least, I don't even know if an adult, like how you'd figure this stuff out, but I feel like it's the kind of game where like there's so many hidden rooms, you just have to bomb every corner and stuff and like hope you find something because otherwise I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Um, but yeah, we really liked it, uh, just never really got far in it. And then so because I, it kind of in my mind had this... Um, uh, stigma, I suppose, of being like interesting, but like so obtuse and obscure that I don't even know how to play it. I never tried any of the sequels because I was like, yeah, you know, like I I did have fond memories of it, but uh, I didn't really know. Uh, I I assumed I was terrible at it. And was like, yeah, I'll just play something else. Um. So anyway, I, this does kind of feel like a remake of the first one, actually. Like this. Speaking of NES, this. This is this is the music, man. Okay, well, wait. Why can't I move? What's what's happening here? Hold on. All right, this, this literally is the music, by the way, and that was the same startup sounds. This, if you know what, you know what I'm re just realizing. <laughs> Metroid, what is this called? First mission or zero mission? Is this a remake of the NES version? If so, I'm actually psyched to play this today. The Morph Ball. I remember this sound. This is this is a remake of the NES version. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. You know, not only is it kind of cool to be playing like a remake, um, but I want. It seems like it has like better menus and stuff. I wonder if it'll be easier to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. <laughs> but uh, okay, down there we go. Oh, and I can't place bombs yet. All right, noted. Hey, you have to get all those abilities. Metroid always reminded me a little of um, Legend of Zelda in the sense of it's it's very much like you have to go around like slow, slowly, gradually collecting more and more abilities. Then you come back to areas uh, that you previously... Oh, forgot about these guys. Areas that you had previously passed and then you can get into them in ways you couldn't before. Um, and I feel like the map in the upper right corner... That feels... Oh, what the... The alien... I turned into a ball that an alien wanted to grab. I don't remember if this is in the first one. I mean, certainly the animation wasn't. Energy tank recharge complete. Charged my tank. There we go. 
Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, reimagining of the original Metroid. Because as I was literally just saying, I had no idea, by the way, that this was a remake of the original. So it's funny that I'm sitting there talking about the original for so long. Uh, and it turns out that's exactly what we're playing. Oh my god, I remember these, like, sort of floating beetle guys. And they're invincible, and they'll hurt you, but you could freeze them. And then you could step on them. And I think there's one, like, vertical chamber like this. Where there's just a whole bunch of those guys. So, like, early on in the game, you encounter it, and you're like, what the hell do I do here? You're like, I guess nothing, and you leave. But then later on, when you can freeze them, you realize, oh, you have to freeze them in, like, a staggered pattern, like these guys right here. See, he's just gonna hurt me if I touch him, but if you freeze him, he becomes a platform. There's, like, a whole vertical column of those guys, so you freeze them one after the other, and you, like, climb up them to the top. It's, uh, interesting. Oh, yeah, in here. Oh! Oh, see, I can't even shoot far enough, so I can't... See, it's interesting, like... The, la the, the distance of the bullets, the fact they don't have bombs. There's so many things that are, like, locking off parts of the map right now. But it's kind of showing it to you. It's, like, teasing you. Like, you know you want to know what's down this corner, don't you, big boy? But you're going to have to wait. Not just yet. Very soon, though. Oh, we could go in there if we want. Well, let's go here first. <clears throat> Now, I think at one point I did uh, not beat Metroid. Actually, no, I did. I think in university I sat down with a, um, like a guide and I like went through and beat, beat Metroid. Oh, you got to shoot this thing right. Long beam. All right, now we're cooking with gas. Yeah, it feels sort of like, uh, it almost feels Mega Man-y, actually, to get these abilities. Press L and B to fire diagonally. Oh, that's cool. Anyway. Nothing down here, huh? Alright. If we had bombs, I would have bombed the crap out of that little underground area, because you never know. Now we can go down here, look at this. Oops. We can go here. I'm curious how far we can actually get, like, one little session. You know, it's funny, because I, again, I was literally talking about Metro. I'd be like, yeah, I played it, and I was never very good at it, but, you know, whatever. And it's sort of one of those things where I'm like, I do have memories of it and stuff that are, are fond, but I don't know if I ever would have gotten back and played it. Literally, now that my hands are on this one, I'm like, I kind of want to keep going and see how... Oh, oh, God! Not, not do that. See how far we're gonna get. Um, oh, okay, there's something here. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> as long as I'm making progress, I'll, I'll feel like I'm, I wanna keep going, but as soon as I hit a wall, or I'm like walking around for half an hour with no idea where to go next, I'll be like, and I'm done. Like, I know myself, uh, that's 100%, uh, you know, what happens. <laughs> Oh, what the? Oh, I remember these guys too. Oh god, oh god. It's interesting to see everything upscaled too, because I remember them when they look like space invaders. They just look like, you know, colored, uh... I don't know what the phrase is. But colored little video game guys. Oh, he's telling me. The brain star. I like these sort of, like, bird creature guys. You know, they're sort of like Egyptian gods or something like that, but like ancient statues is pretty cool. The idea of like ancient aliens in space is actually like a really fascinating idea. Like you go into space and then you find like uh, statues of like ancient gods that like long dead alien races were worshiping. Like that that's some crazy level stuff, you know? I find that stuff fascinating. Oh God, don't kill me little bug beetle guy. And then we have to find the... There was an area around here. Not this, I think. A little further down. It's also interesting, like, going down is somewhat harder than going up. Because you can't really shoot down. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, wh what is this? Look at this! Oh, so you could have gotten in here, but I didn't even need the long shot. Whoa, that's 
That's interesting. So if you don't have the long shot, you can still get in here. I mean, I probably don't want to be here. This one, you need missiles. I remember that. Probably don't want to be in here without the long shot. Oh, get out of here. Speaking of going up, down rather than up, maybe I should start going down. Let's just see. So much to explore. This is a save room. Go for it. Like all the graphics, obviously, have a nice visual update. So I'm curious why the developer, not the developer, the Thousand One Book author folks. I say folks, because it wasn't actually just one author. There was a main editor and then there were contributors. I think I've talked about this before, so you can look in the book <clears throat> and every like um, review is signed with initials. So it's like ES, MM, JG or whatever. So there was like five or eight different people or something who like actually put in uh, their recommendations. Oh, missile tank for the thousand and one list. So it's not a th this list isn't even a single person's list. Um, not that it ever claimed to be, but I think some people might assume it was. Um, but it just makes it all the more fascinating. Um, what is this? Oh, it's just a nothing. Oh, it might be a thing of like, maybe I have to, uh, let's see. How do I do this? Okay, that does nothing. I just wasted a missile. All right. Also like how I'm like figuring out the controls pretty easily. That's the one nice thing about like older Nintendo. Oh God systems is like you know there are only there's only a couple of buttons so it's oh my god i don't remember this oh my god what do i do oh god it's gonna kill me man oh oh jeez one oh jesus boom i only have one more missile don't want to waste it Ow. Oh, you bastard. Oh! He ran away. Alright. <laughs> that was scary. I feel like that was not in the original. Um, anyway, I'm curious why whoever put this in put this one in and not the original. I don't... Wait, is the original in the book? It might even be, you know? We're definitely gonna have to go look this up. Um, and I mean, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not knocking the idea of having, uh, re remakes or whatever. I'm a huge fan of the original Mario Brothers, like Mario 1, 2, and 3. Um, but I do actually feel like, personally, when I play them, I prefer to play the Lost Levels. The, um, or no, not the Lost Levels, the Mario All-Stars. That's the, okay, we could go in here. I guess let's just do it. Um, it is the Super Nintendo remake that included Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, and the, uh, you know, Japanese Mario 2, which they called the Lost Levels, and some versions even have Mario World, but I mean, that is, that is just, like, extra if you've got it. Little bugs on me, by the way. You guys see this? I'm infested with, like, a cockroach infestation here. It's pretty gross. Oh, hello! Secrets. Oh. Okay, I don't know how to blow up those things yet, but I will learn eventually. Die. I remember this stuff with these, like, disappearing blocks. Ah, it this way, I guess. Ow. You actually have a lot of hit points too, which is nice. I'm trying to like make a mental map of like the areas where you've been to and stuff. God, these things suck. Okay, I don't think there's anything we can do here. All right, so this was a total dead end. It was a bust. Okay, so I think we got going up is the last thing that we haven't done. Having that map is so helpful. Again, was there a map in the original Nintendo? I don't even remember. 
Oh, shoot. I just meant to stand still and shoot, and I fired all my rockets. Yuck. Thank God I don't need them. I mean, I, I need them, but not immediately. Imagine to leave that area, it was like a red door. I'm screwed. Oh. One thing I like about the Game Boy Advanced is, I've talked about this, it feels like lost Super Nintendo games. Pretty sure it's a Super Nintendo with just lower resolution. You know, the uh, Super Nintendo, I think, had uh, more pixels for the width and the height. But other than that, it pretty much is a Super Nintendo. Ah, give me that. You gotta wait till these guys try and land on you. You don't want to kill guys too far away because you want their sweet energy... Energon cubes. Oh, that's cool. Damn it. What are these things? I think I have to kill them with bombs. I think eventually you can place bombs when you're in a morph ball, and that's what gets them, maybe? Those might be bomb thingies. Oh, ow. Oh, shit. There's nowhere else to go. Hmm. I'm trying to look to see. Yeah, there's like <clears throat> nowhere else to be. There's something to the left over there. Oh, I think that's with the bird faces or something. Okay, hold on. Let's double check this, I guess. Oh, I wanted those rockets. No! <laughs> Don't jump high enough. Maybe we'll have to farm a bit. Get a few rockets. Nothing. Nothing. The one thing I will say is these guys don't make the same uh, satisfying like sound effects on the NES. Again, Metroid on the NES was interesting because it was like it was this game, but it's like all the graphics. It looked like a lot of Space Invaders. So when you hit guys, they went trip 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 trip, like when they were taking damage. Okay, so if I fire a rocket there... Okay, the rockets do nothing. We have tested it. There. So this is where you just start... See, this is the sort of, like, mystery part where, like, I don't know, I guess I'll just shoot every single block and floor piece that I can find and maybe find something that I missed. And this is the part where eventually I give up. Whoa. I'm 99% sure the NES version didn't have a map, though. Having a map does make things a lot, uh, a lot more doable. Oh, F this. I hate the, that section. Even if it's the way to go, I'm like, forget it. Oh, did we go in here? Oh, yeah, it's just a safe spot. Okay, double check down here. Just trying to check. Oh, we got some missiles. Okay, this was locked off there. Like, I just, I, I honestly have nowhere, no idea where to go. I thought maybe you could go in there, but... Okay, that took a lot of health for no reason. Oh, God. Pretty sure you can just, like, spawn these guys endlessly. Like, if you need to refill on health or something. Yeah, I remember doing that as a kid, too. Okay. I'm so confused. I know I could look stuff up, but, like, I kind of... I sort of, like, intentionally don't want to. Because I'm like, there's, there's only, like, three places to go. How can I be missing it? You know what? I usually, at this point in Metroid, what I've learned is there's, like, a secret door that I'm not seeing. Maybe, you know, it's, you never know. Maybe it is in the save room. I doubt it, but... No. Okay, so it's not down. And it's not the save room. We got missiles. <clears throat> the missiles let us open stuff. 
And it's not this way, right? This is the, um... Oh, that's these guys. Alright, you know what? I will take one more stab at this. Oh, God. Guess if you're just careful shooting those guys, they can't really hurt you. Oh, wait. You can do something here. Oh, my God. That's pretty funny. Well, I'm, like, killing a sack of... So when I came here, I'm like, oh, there's nothing to do. Look at this. You can't even... I guess I gotta be able to jump higher. Guess I don't have the abilities yet. <laughs> the fact... I didn't even think you could scroll the screen. Oh, and look at this. Hidden stuff, too. Die, weird fly sack. Oh, yeah. More missiles. Mo missiles equals mo problems. All right, we're making progress. I figured it out. I was like, there has to be something we're missing. But I thought I had checked everything. Oh. And it's as simple as that. Um, well, I mean, there's obviously... Oh, we can't go down there. 100%, we gotta get the morph ball bombs. Yeah, just clear that whole friggin' wall, man. Oh, you guys thought I was goofing around, but there was something there. This bloody thing again. Oh. Boom. Oh, I missed! Oh, he dropped missiles. Boom. Ow. Ow. Ow, my god. I'll take that. Oh, ow. Oh, you dick. Ow. Oh, you dick. Oh my god, I'm like almost dying. How do you kill that bloody thing? Ooh, an energy tank. Capacity increased. That's exactly what I needed. Oh, 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 oh god! Out of the lava! Whew. I can do this. Oh god. Oh god! Oh, I wanted that missile. Oh, I can get it! I can jump that high. Alright, we're making progress. Let's check our map for a second. So we kind of want to go up and to the left, I think. Blink. What are some games that you guys played as a kid that you liked, but you kind of feel like were too hard, you know? Like, again, sort of thinking of, like, my Metroid, right? Liked it, played it a lot. Always wanted to get farther, never really could. And it's to the point where, like, as an adult, the idea of, like, replaying Metroid, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, maybe. Not super interested in doing it. But, like, you know, if I was at a friend's house and they had Metroid, and they're like, hey, you want to turn? I would definitely take it. You know, I'm not like, ugh, Metroid. Um, it's just, again, sort of one that I feel like, as a kid, I just recognized it was beyond my skill level. So, I don't know. Do you guys have any games like that? Is it just me who sucks? Surely there must have been games that you played. I feel like when we were kids, maybe, the, again, this is just me, and it depends, when I say a kid, does that mean like, oh, playing the Xbox, you know, or does it mean like playing the NES? Like, I'm talking about people who grew up in like the 80s and stuff. Um, I feel like video games were so limited back then, like you would play whatever you had, good or bad. So like, I remember as a kid also, like a little, little kid, playing a lot of my dad's Atari games, and, I had no idea what I was doing most of the time, but I just liked playing them. Um, yeah, now the morph ball takes care of this stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, this is, you gotta, yeah, like bounce yourself up. There we go. Boom. I feel like that is a lot harder to do in Nintendo, or like the NES. I feel like they've made the morph ball and bouncing and stuff a lot easier. Alright, well we have a new ability, folks. It's time to unlock some shenanigans. 
Boop. Oh, is there something up here? Is there just nothing? <laughs> Was there no point to that? Oh, these guys are draining my life! Oh god! How do I get them off of me? Get off! Okay, yeah, they're gone. How do you kill these things? Jeez, that was weird. You know what? I didn't even realize those guys would damage me. They must have been damaging me before and I just didn't even notice. Oh my god, these guys. Okay, so we got a save room there. We don't need that. Alright, so we're going back this way. So there was a lot of points that we passed previously that had uh, things where the morph ball would have been useful. So I guess now... Oh god. Now the idea is to go back to all those points. And I can't jump up there, it's too high, alright. It's actually good for us. Um, let's, might as well, since, since we're here, I might as well check this out. The map room. Oh, that's cool, you like, plug your arm in. I was about to say we have a map, but I see it. It shows you all the areas you haven't been to yet. That's cool, actually, you know what? I- I don't remember if there's a map room. Oh god. You know what, if there is, I guess I take it all back, but I'm like, I feel like this is like a real sweet upgrade to the NES version, because it just seems like so many little quality of life things. Like, with- with a map, I feel like I can now figure out where the hell to go. Tur Turian... Norfar... Okay. Ah, there we go. Haha! -ha. These are like some pretty big jumps. Oh, whoa! I like how fast Samus runs too. It makes backtracking uh decent. Get off of me, you stupid things! Oh God! Ha! Huh. Want that orb? <laughs> Let's get out of here before more little guys grab me and uh, absorb all my energy. Yeah, it's weird seeing like what were essentially space invaders to me upscaled into like actual creatures. He says, You must goeth to Morfair. Norfair, I mean. So saith the ancient Egyptian space god. Oh wait, it looked like I could have gone behind him. Oh, you still can. Like bombing his butt. Nothing, eh? Yeah, just double checking. You never know. A lot of secrets in this game. Um, but yeah, the sort of an ancient Egyptian space gods, it reminds me a little bit of, like, um... Like, aliens, almost. <clears throat> like the original... 1979 one, where they find the space jockey or whatever. Before they remade it into, uh... Whatchamacallit? Oh god, what's... They, they remade it and had, like, uh, Magneto as the android. Oh my god, what did they call it? Prometheus! That's it. Before they turned it into Prometheus. Which is, uh, you know, not one I did care for, actually. It's cooler having the space gods be, like, mysterious. As opposed to just being, like, random human- human-looking dudes. Tall dudes. Oh, there's something green over here. I think green means there's something that you haven't like, figured out. Just checking this room thoroughly. Don't mind me while I blast every corner of this room. Alright, clear. Whatever's in there. There we go. That's what we wanted. Oops.
Oh, I might have to like. Oh, I I kind of. You know, we have to do. You have to do that. Yeah. Now, how the hell do you get in there? Oh, that actually worked. First try. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Uh, you know what? That's some muscle memory from the NES days, man. I didn't practice that. I was born that way. Well, I wasn't born that way. I got it from playing many, many Nintendo games. But there you go. That That's how you do, son. That's what we did in the 80s. No checkpoints, man. Hashtag no checkpoints. It's funny now, because... So many games have checkpoints, it's just sort of the way they operate. Um... And to the point where, I mean, I like it. I like that there are checkpoints. But there were definitely no checkpoints back in the day. We're gonna go up first to try and clear out that, uh... Upper corridor before we go down to Norfair. Oh, jeez. Getting too impatient here. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, games didn't really have checkpoints back in the day. I mean, this game obviously has save points, but it's a little different from checkpoints in that, uh... uh I feel like checkpoints are like automatic save points, where save points are like, at least you have to go intentionally save. Like, if I die right now... Well, this game might actually have checkpoints, so it might take me back to the door. Um... So we'll just go in here, I don't know. Gonna bomb this just in case there's anything in here. Nothing? Alright. And we'll try going to the top. Oh god. That's like a bad strategy. I almost bombed myself into the pit. Whatever, it all worked out. Also, I did like how you could jump in the pits and it wouldn't kill you. This, I, you know, I think Metroid was one of the first NES games that I ever did play. Can I get over there? No, not right now. Um, and I do remember it was like super cool and um, super cool and mysterious and just had all these gameplay features I'd never seen before. And it's like I was shooting Space Invader dudes, but I was running around as like this person with a gun. Yeah, it was a cool game. It was from the black box era of the NES games, like some of the first run of NES video games. Definitely there's nothing like this on the Atari, I'll tell you that much. More missiles. See, I feel like we're making pretty good progress. Which, we, we probably are just making like, the basic amount of progress. Oh god. Oh! Oh! What the? <laughs> Oh god. Go, 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 go! Oh god. Oh, that thing doesn't blow up, okay. No idea where I'm going. Going for it. <sighs> oh! That almost murdered me. Yeah, that was cool, I didn't even know you could go underground like, or underwater like that. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm about to die. Die, you bastard! See, they showed Samus there, uh, like outside of her spacesuit. We never knew she was a a, a woman uh, until we beat the game, and it was it was like a surprise back in the eighties. I don't even think I even got that surprise. Like as a kid, I'm like, I don't know. I know there was a cheat code you could make her run around in her bikini or something like that. I think I found that code at one point. I'm like, oh cool, you can make the main Metroid guy a bikini girl. I'm like, oh, sure. Like, cheat codes were not so established in video games that I even understood what was happening. I'm like, oh, you're a bikini girl now, okay. Why not win in Rome? Oh, I don't think you can make that. Although, no, you can't even bounce out of that. Okay. Oh wait, maybe you bomb this thing? Seems to be shaking. I don't think it's dying. Okay, well... <laughs> well, I'm just gonna let myself drown here. And we'll, uh, we'll revisit this in a second. You got me. 
I like how they do have the courtesy to put a save point right before that room. Room's bullshit, man. Bullshit. Dad! I can't beat this room. I need help. You had a dad or a big brother call them in to beat the game. Okay. Like, I'm just... Yeah, I'm guessing... Oh, it's such a shame, because it's like there's obviously something right there. Okay, I guess we, we'll we try to go to Norfair or whatever. The game is telling us we're not ready yet. You gotta let it go sometimes. Eh, might as well save again. Go for it. DNA backupped. <laughs> DNA backupped. Yes, yeah, so that's what the computer. That's what the futuristic sci-fi computer said. Your DNA has been successfully backupped. What is this thing up here for, though? Oh, oh, oh! Get out of there, jeez. Okay, so like. See, you can go up there. Then if you did that, you would go over here. It's like being the ceiling. Ah, what is that? <laughs> How do you get there? <laughs> hmm. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh jump! Jump! I'm trying to jump above this, you can't. Is there any reason to be down here? It's like carpet bombing this whole area. Hmm, not really. Any reason to be in this one here? Not really. All right. <clears throat> well. I guess, I guess time will tell on that one. We'll head to greener pastures here. <clears throat> okay, I think we just have to fall down to the bottom and then we got this. There's like a, a save room that we missed back over there, but nobody cares about that. Oh, I do remember going down these, uh, these rooms, and it's, like, pretty fun to, like, fall all the way down quickly. Whoa! <laughs> oh, this bloody thing again. All right, this time I'm killing it. Oh, you bastard. I was on the money that time. Yeah, nice try, bub. Oh, you dick. You have such a small window to actually get him. He's gonna run away now, isn't he? Nope. Ah, oh, come on! Come on! Ah, he fled. Ugh. Really wanna kill that thing. I think they can only let you fight it for, like, a brief period of time, because if you don't have enough missiles... I mean, I was gonna say it's a death trap, but you can kill its little spines and stuff that it shoots out. So I don't know why they give you a limit there. I would really love to finish that guy off. <clears throat> Down we go. Oh, here we go. We get, even get a little cutscene. Mother brain. Watching the Samus. Norfair. All right, we'll do a little bit of Norfair, I think. And then, oh shoot, there was a thing there that we missed. No, I want that thing. No. <laughs> Give me the thing. I'm trapped here. I guess we'll save. We'll do a little bit of Norfair, and then we will, um... Soon wrap up. But let's just, I guess let's explore for a bit. 
getting ahead of myself. We haven't even seen a screen or two, but we'll explore this a little bit. Can't even jump high enough to get out of here. <laughs> Tells you something. Tells you you might be in the wrong spot. How do I leave? Can I freeze these guys? No, I can't. So if I don't get something that helps me jump, I'm screwed. I'm just plain old screwed. Oh god. Ah. Oh, a little fire, guys. Oh, yeah. Like right there. Oh, I can like recognize the tunes too. It's like the same tunes. Only they've been like remastered or whatever <laughs> for Game Boy Advance, but I recognize them from <clears throat> Nintendo. There's some classic tunes in here. Classic tunes. This game was so ahead of its time. I think. I believe it was. Oh, we just leave? Hold on a second. Look at these guys. Aha! I don't know if I'm supposed to go here, but I did it! Hopefully this gives me a jump. I need a jump or something. I'm just getting further and further trapped in this place. Maybe I should have taken that little, uh, platform out of here. Like, you, you ever get to a spot in a video game where it feels like you're not supposed to be here yet? what I feel like. Because I have no idea how I'm getting out of here. Like, okay, this is a dead end as it turns out. I'm fucked. Because <laughs> I don't even know... Oh, like I might have to just suicide, I'm guessing. I guess let's see. Like, I literally think I might- Like, I can't jump high enough to get out of here. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Keep it going! Ugh! Oh. Ugh! Yeah, actually, this- this does work. Maybe- maybe that was a secret. Maybe I could've jumped... ...through some stuff. Okay, I should- I should go back, actually. <laughs> Let's just see where this goes. <clears throat> I'm in Crafteria. Okay. No idea what this is. Oops. Oh, it's just water. It's not gonna kill me. Okay, good. Oh, there, but there's sharks and stuff. I don't remember this part. I don't remember, like, a, a shark water area. In the original Metroid. I wonder if this was added. Right, going underwater sucks. Just FYI. Doesn't do anything for you. So don't do it. I don't know why I'm in a ball to jump that, but I am. So the ball jumping in this is like a lot more effective than I remember ever being in the NES version. That thing can't be blown up. <clears throat> yeah, like, if I'm not supposed to be here. I can't break any of this stuff. Oh, maybe this will give me the ability to do it. Unknown item. The F? Analysis inconclusive. Icing... Item incompatible with current suit. Oh, that's cool. It's like we have to get a better suit then? Weapons and energy fully charged. Thank you, sir. Yeah, see, I feel like I am not supposed to be here right now because it's like... Oh! Never mind. Incompatible with my current suit. Yeah, give me a break. That looks pretty damn compatible to me, sir. I just supercharged my gun. Although I can't jump out of here now. 
Oh. I can't, I, I tra I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank God. Why the hell can she not jump a little higher in the water? That is hilarious. Oops. Okay. There we go. Ooh, what's this? Bird mouth. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Oh, here's an exit. Um, hello? <laughs> Let me out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what is this thing? Power grip. Never heard of this. Grab and hang from ledges and corners. This feels very new. Oh, hello. That will help me. Can I grab one of these things? Oh, there we go. Oh, I can jump just a little higher now. That's what I needed. I swear I don't think this is in the original. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I know you could get like a super jump. I know that was a thing. Oh, there we go. That's actually very handy with the ball too. Just go for it. Just go for it. We oh god! <laughs> it felt a little scary, actually. Opens in. So this is my ship, obviously. Where I started the game. Okay. I guess we go back down. Oh, and this is... Oh, we've come full circle. I mean, there's the area to the left over there which we didn't explore. The completionist in me wants to just, like, double-check some of these things, you know? Like, what was over to the right over here? Was it anything? Oops. Oh, Jesus. Well, it's nothing if you fall in the water. Oh my god, that's for sure. I never used rockets to kill random dudes. I know you technically could, but I always saved my rockets for, like, doors and stuff. <laughs> Not even anything like, oh, like, bosses. It's like, not open the red doors. Save them rockets, you know? Probably should use them a little more aggressively against the enemies. Oh. Yeah, you need, I think, a different kind of rocket for that. What's down here? Anything? Alright. Stop messing around. These guys take two rockets. Or no, they don't. They only take one. I don't know what's happening. Alright. <clears throat> Explored. That at least makes me feel like we didn't just leave some uh, corner of the map totally unexplored. Whoa. Hey -o. whoa. I don't think we need to do that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now if we go back into Nordria or whatever, Nordfair. <clears throat> in theory now we can like actually get around. Let's give it a shot. I'm back and I know how to grab ledges. They're like, oh god, the power. The absolute power. Actually, I also know how to shoot and blow up tougher things, so... That's a thing. Oh, this music. 
Makes me real. It does really make me want to go back and listen to the original uh, Metroid music. Oh, I was wondering how I'd get up here. I guess grabbing a ledge would make sense. Yeah, it's like kind of weird and alien and ominous. I don't know how to describe this music. It's very cool though. These are like Mario warp pipes, only you can't go in them. Only monsters spawn out of them. Ooh, got that guy. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so now I can climb out of here as need be. Whatever, whatever that power up was, I can't believe I missed it. <laughs> Annoys me. It, was, it looked like a ninja star or something. Alright, I will save this time. Mission complete. Okay, now we can actually navigate this area. Like, super easily, actually. Oh, 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 what the hell's that? <laughs> Run away from that. Oh, another one of them. I wonder what the point of that is. Oh, to release this guy? Is it helpful to not have that ledge? Oh, you freeze him and then you can jump on him. Right. Probably when you get the freeze gun. Because there's something up there, right? Like, you gotta use him? Because it's like, why Why would you be allowed to release that guy by shooting the ground and it's to uh, get a secret? They even, like, tantalize you. They're like, look at this. Wouldn't you like to get that missile? Seems like you should be able to, eh? Well, you can't, punk. You left scratching your head wondering, what how the F are you supposed to do that? Alright, come on, buddy. Okay, just walk past me. He didn't even notice me. Whoa. Alright, what we got going on in here? More fire. These are some pretty big jumps, actually. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Ooh. Something, though. Ice beam. Hey, we got the ice beam. Hey, this is farther than I ever got as a kid. And I want to rack it up to my amazing, sweet gaming abilities. Also, the fact that this is a remake and they might have made things a tad easier may have a little bit to do with it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Hello. You go, blink. You go, excuse me while I stand on you. Okay. And the map is super helpful, too. I guess we'll just go in here. Oh, it's a save room. All right. Save it up. Oh. <laughs> save it up. DNA. Back up. No, it's backed up. What do you want from me? I think this is like the corridor where we have to freeze all these guys. And you freeze them like one at a time. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> See, it's tricky because they will unfreeze. They're not frozen forever. Um, huh? Oh no. <laughs> Didn't plan that right. Oh god. Okay, so we have to make it over to the right. Okay, interesting. Oh. Okay. Come on, buddy. Huh. Huh. Huh, no! <laughs> Oh, it's hard. It's harder than it looks, but I feel like something good's got to be up there. Oh, fuck. I'm like trying not to panic. 
when they start blinking. But it is hard. Oh god! Ah, oh, fuck! Sometimes she doesn't jump the same height. I think I have to hold up when I jump. I feel like, can you just jump the highest? You know what? At this point in time, jump as high as you possibly can. There she goes. I wasn't holding up when I was jumping sometimes, so it was kind of... Yeah, so you gotta freeze that guy. So we can go get those missiles if we want. Um, I don't want him to be frozen there. Or never mind, it was fine. Telling me where to go next. He says, you must go to Kraid. There you will find the answers to the questions you seek. Thank you, weird alien god. I won't forget this. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Close enough. Huh. Oh, I see. Gotta go blink. Blink. You gotta move your butt. Blink, blink. Ah, I, I hit jump there. It just didn't jump. Huh? Huh? Oh, there we go. A little tricky. Oh. <laughs> Yo, let me let me round you, buddy. Oh, interesting. The ground just gave up below me. Don't mind me, buddy. Okay, we haven't been over here yet. Oh, I'm li I'm just straight up dying from the heat. Oh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't last very long in there, would I? Okay, well, at least we know that room is hot. At least it shows up as orange on my radar. That actually helps. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I want to find the room that had the, uh... The fireballs or whatever. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, wait, this is... We don't want to do this room. This loops back to where we were. We just want to go down one more, I think. See, as a kid, if you didn't have a map in Metroid, this would be, like, insane. Like, there's no way you could do this. Yeah, so... So now we actually do want to free this guy. Freeze him right there. Get that. Can't believe we got the freeze gun. It actually feels like fairly advanced. As I say, I absolutely could never get this far. In Metroid as a kid. Oh my god. Now, why don't I kill this guy? It's causing problems to have him around. Oh god. Oof, 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 no. Oh god. It's like you have so much health, but at the same time, it's like it goes fast if you start screwing up, you know? We gotta find one of those warp pipes that spawns the, like birds and just spawn them endlessly to suck up their energy. We did it! <clears throat> Save. Alright, I feel like we're getting pretty damn advanced. Also, we're not really leaving behind unexplored areas. We Pretty much you're getting everything. So that's exciting. Now we can get out of here. Sort of. There we go. Oh, there's that thing. No! No! <laughs> I want that thing. Whatever the hell it is. Ugh. Jump. Oh! It's just things... I thought they were power-ups. Oh, I think that's a s signal for the spinny jump. When you do the spinny jump, you can, like, cut through things. That's interesting that that was listed there. 
Okay, so crate is over there. So I feel like we got to go back near the beginning. I know I said Norfair would be the end of it, but uh, getting into it now. This is the Metroid I always wanted to play as a kid. One that I understood what was going on. Oh, nice try. Huh. You must have been able to grab... I, I gotta look this up after. I'm like... These level designs wouldn't work if you couldn't grab the ledge. Unless this was a new mechanic that they added. So, yeah. I want to go all the way up to the top. want to see if we can, uh... Get into that, like, one little door area that we couldn't... I think we can, because it was like... Uh, I can only vaguely remember it, but I think the problem was we couldn't jump high enough. But now we can grab ledges, so... And we can freeze guys if we need to. I'm pretty sure these vertical chasms were not as interesting as they are right now in the NES version. I think they were more basic. No. Um, like, this terrain seems more complex, I think. So I'm pretty sure they have changed some stuff, you know. Aha, look at this, though. Can't actually get up there now. Oh! -ho! Missile capacity increased, boys. Boys and girls. Oh shit, we're... <laughs> Damn it, we're in like a competing chasm. I didn't want to go here. That's annoying. It's pretty funny though. I think we can just drop down and get in this door over here. Cut back over. That's really funny. I did not want to go into that chasm. I had no interest in that. Yeah, back to climbing. This is like one of the classic NES uh, songs, you know, very heroic and like, it really set the stage for like Nintendo being like the premier system, you know. Not only does this thing freeze guys, but I feel like it's more powerful than my previous gun. Just ice, it, uh, pa pardon the pun, but it ices them a lot quicker. Yeah. Oh, nice try. Yeah, see, now we can just jump up here. Oh, but it does jack all! <laughs> what the hell's the point of that? <laughs> oh, ow. Alright. I guess I will save again. Just to be safe. Now, I don't recall... Oh yeah, this. That's what I couldn't get past before. Right, okay. Get in there! Oh no. Oh, we're on the wrong side of this guy. <laughs> I think I can, like, blow myself back into that pipe, but just barely. Oh, I can't believe that worked. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, God. We're going for it. I gotta see that one little corner. I can't leave that one corner unexplored. There's something good in that corner, I know it. Those ancient alien gods are always holding the best technologies. We can do this quickly, folks. It's not like we're on a specific time limit, but, uh... I also probably should wrap up shortly here. For a variety of reasons. I got stuff to do and stuff, you know. 
Also, I think I've said before, but like two and a half hour YouTube videos don't seem to play all that well. I know, I know a handful of you guys enjoy them, but uh, there's, you know, I feel like if the video is too long, people like actually just don't watch it because they're like, ah, it's too much. Ain't nobody got time for that. Oh, I feel like those stupid flies aren't spawning now because I killed all their fly sacks. Which is good. It's fun to just run through these areas after you've, like, done them before. It makes you feel like a boss to just, like, <clears throat> fly through, oddly enough. Oh, here comes this dick. I will get you, man. I got 54 missiles. Oh my god, they both missed. Oh, you... Jerk. Die. Just firing like a thousand at him now. Ah. Uh -huh. There you go. I ain't messing around. I don't, I don't play no more. Freeze your ass. <laughs> Such a great song. This is making me nostalgic for Nintendo. I think there was nothing in here, right? Yeah, it's just the map room. I just couldn't remember what M meant on the radar. I wanted to check it out. Ah, oh, dick. Yeah, look at this. Oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> oh, I can't even jump. I don't think I can even jump high enough to get to him. Yeah, I need a high jump. Okay. Well, let's do one last thing together, which is... Yeehaw. Let's, um... See if we can get to Kincaid or Corfair or... Whatever the hell that place was called. Conrad. What was it called? Crade. <laughs> eh, eh, close enough. <clears throat> Check out Crade. I legit kind of want to save this and come back to it. Like, I'm not lying, but I'm saying I'm having fun with this one. It, it's no secret that uh, as we are in the last year, a little over a year of the 1001 book, the uh, classic 80s and 90s video game hits have become fewer and fewer. We get a lot more PlayStation RPGs, MMOs, JRPGs, which are, you know, it's fine. I don't, I don't begrudge them as a genre, but what I've realized is there's a reason I never played too many of those in my day, is that they're just not really my favorite kind of game. Now, unfortunately, I kind of made a commitment to spend the next year playing them, and uh, I do, <clears throat> do want to see it through. But, you know. You know. It's not as motivating. There were days when it was like, oh man, like an Amiga game, and this game, this game, you know, like very classic games. Now it's like Dreamcast JRPG, PS1 JRPG, online MMO, uh, Sega Saturn JRPG. It's like, oh dear God, somebody save me. <laughs> somebody, somebody save me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. <clears throat> um, is there anything down here maybe? Let's check him. Because we're kind of right above the Kraid spot. Oh, this looks... Oh, yeah, I don't think... We never did this. Yeah. I, I, re I really do wonder about the original Metroid now, if it was as confusing as I remember it being as a kid, or if it's like... It was a little more obvious like this, where you come back to a place, and, uh, you know... Because this one so far, it's like, it hasn't like overtly told me where to go. I mean, the the little, uh, the, the gods or whatever have been directing me. Um, but, uh, so it hasn't, 
Oh, and I remember this music too. Oh man. This is like space Egyptian mystery music. Oh man. This definitely brings back memories of playing my, my dad's original NES when we first got it. Oh, so cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, this one hasn't been like, go here next, but it has sort of been like, there's only really like one or two places to go, so it's like... Now if you didn't have the map, I think it would be a totally different story and it'd be way more confusing. So... Um... I wonder how much of a difference the map is making, you know? Oh, that's cool. Interesting. Shoot me! There we go. Oh, this is kind of cool. You have to... I think you must have been able to grab onto ledges. Oh, jeez. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's so cool. Well, that, that's a cool little section right there. <clears throat> you must have been able to grab ledges. I don't know how else they would have done this. Oh, yeah, I need it. Ah. Oops. Oh, he just blows up. You can't even freeze him. God damn it. Hold on. Nope. There we go. Kind of want to farm these guys for a bit of health, actually. Although I'm pretty good, actually. I'm at like 92. Oh man, the music, though. <laughs> it's reminding me of like summers in the 80s. It's so cool. Whoa, God. All right, get them all. I think, by the way, there was, uh... Yeah, there's, like, some kind of secret there. Don't know if I got it. Oh, look at that. Well, might as well get the secret, since we're here. <clears throat> What the hell is this? What did that do? Oh. Ooh, energy tank! Yas. Oh god. Oh. Oh, they just knocked me into- oh! And it was a save room all along. <clears throat> save complete. Can I go back the way I came? Perfect. Oh, but you can't go in that door? Oh, get out of here. You chonkies! I'm like lost in a maze now. We really stepped in it. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh god. Ow! Oh! You dick! Aha! Ah! Oh god! This will pull me into the water. Don't know how to kill this guy. Ow. Oh, I'm just drowning. Slow death. Ah! <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Oh, I got- I kinda got him. Oh, almost. I keep falling in the water, though. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, there you go, okay. I was doing it stupidly. Oh, screwed that up. Oh, God. 
Ah. Here we got it. Boom. Maybe I should be firing missiles at him. Boom. Jeez, this thing takes a lot of damage, eh? Oh god. Jeez, how much damage does this thing take? Oh. Oh god. Melting me. Die. Oh, we got him. We got the bastard. Woo! That was a pretty good fight. A pretty good fight, actually. Oh, and this is where I was, okay. <coughs> so getting that secret didn't really set me back, actually. <coughs> Though I guess... I should want to go in here, right? Well, where am I? I wonder what the point of that section was. Aha. There we go. All right. Am I gonna have to go in this stuff? All right, let's just try it. Oh, don't want that. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I have no idea what to do about that. Alright, well... Let's go to the save room. Oh, we can't. Oh wait, so I am supposed to go to the left. I, I have no idea what's going on. We're supposed to go over here. Interesting, I feel like this is how I approached the room. It was only through like a secret that I... ...found another way, but anyway, I did whatever. Death. No health, that's okay. I don't remember those contraptions either. Feels like there's a lot in this game I don't remember, and I can't tell if it's a remake or not. All right, well I think we've we've kind of hit a natural point. We probably should stop. Um, oh no, this traps me in a loop. I, okay, I'm kind of trapped right now. Actually, that's a good. T oh no, because I keep going in the secret way. I'm not actually trapped. Hold on, look at this. If I just go. I like these guys with the eyeballs. These like weird little eyeball creatures. They feel like they're innocent and disinterested in me, so I feel sad that I'm murdering them, but whatever. It is the way of the Samus. Uh, shoot this thing. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Sometimes you have to fall in the lava, it seems. Okay, let me go down here. Interesting. Ah, couldn't get it. Hmm. I think there was another door back over this way that we didn't go in. Hold on, we'll wrap up. Just give me a second here. Not too many games give you, like, an ice gun as, like, your primary weapon, like... Because it's... not only does it damage the enemies, it freezes them. Seems overpowered. I'm not complaining, I'm just stating an obvious fact of the situation. Guess we'll save our game over here, too, now. Yes, save. Save complete. Back up. Okay, so there's a whole bunch more doors to explore. Okay, you know what? I might come back to this. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to leave the save game here. 
You know what's funny? If I come back to this in like a year, I will not remember anything that we did. I'll have to watch the video to literally remember, but I'm gonna save it here just at Br Brinst Brimstar. There's some kind of boss down there. Maybe one day we'll see. You know what? If you like this video, thumbs up and comment and tell me you want me to keep going. And I could always do a follow up video. But for now, we're going to call it. Uh, Metroid here is. Or Metroid Zero Mission appears to be a remake of Metroid. In fact, I'm going to look it up real quick before I sign off and look up the book description of it. But uh, it's a remake of the original Metroid, as, as far as I understand it. Makes me so nostalgic for the original game, and yet. Honestly, you know, sometimes when they remake movies and stuff, you're like, eh, it's fine, but it's the original game is just way better. I feel like this almost played better than the original. Now, the original, in my mind, will always have a certain kind of appeal that can't be... Where's the bloody index? Oh, I'm looking at the, the wrong end of the book. Um, the original will certainly always rem stick in my mind as, like, it just reminds me of being a kid. It reminds me of, um, uh, wait, what is this game called? Metroid Zero Mission? Let me look this up. You know, so like the music, the sound effects, the visuals, it reminds me of like my first experiences with the Nintendo. And I don't think anything will ever change that. But as far as making like a modern, replayable version of the original, like I really like what they did here. I really like it. There's... Uh, the bad guys, the sound effects, the music, all pay homage to the original while updating it reasonably. Uh, and again, the original, I think, in some ways, some things I kind of prefer, like the shooting sound effects of the original are just so iconic and this one doesn't have it. But I can go play the original if I really want that. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, here's the book's description. Um, you know, perhaps Nintendo's most grown-up mascot, Samus, returns to her roots in this action adventure, Metroid Zero Mission. The result is a glitzy, uh, typically atmospheric remake of the 1986 NES adventure, scaled up from the blocky 8-bit science fiction of the first outing to make the most of the elaborate opportunities brought by the 32-bit Game Boy Advance. Was this 32-bit? I mean, I guess technically. It seems like a 16-bit era system to me, but whatever. Uh, the adventure is every bit as good as older gamers might remember. Claustrophobic and frightening. Um, it is. It is quite sort of like ominous and frightening with the alien gods and stuff. Testament to an almost two decade old game design. The original Metroid has lost none of its queasy wit or creepy charm in the transition. Metroid Zero Mission actually rewrites the past in all the right ways by including a handy mini map that makes murky biz. Okay, yeah, so the mini map is new. Which I think was desperately needed in the original, but obviously for many reasons it wasn't there. Um, the map is not the only welcome addition either. Um, you've picked up additional bosses, fresh twists, entirely new area called Kazodia, and a fan favorite sequence in which players get to play as Samus out of the confines of her suit for the first time ever, after she's ambushed and left to sneak around with a single weak pistol. Oh, that's cool. Uh, some still complain that the end results are too short, but no one complains that they, are, they aren't considered elegant, thrilling, beautiful, and intricate. The Metroid series has rarely put wrong foot. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, agree. Agree. I, I think this is a great reimagining of the original um, that adds um, and otherwise enhances uh, a game that I loved. Uh, growing up as a kid and the game I was terrible at had no idea what I was doing as I'm playing this I'm like oh man so much nostalgia I did like it I did like it so guys those are my thoughts what do you think of Metroid Prime Zero Mission here let me know in the comments down below if you played the the original Metroid or you've ever played this one or anything like that and if you do want to see more of this game let me know that too um, it's just, it is always possible to do follow-ups, but I just do them selectively because, you know, we, we always got more games to play, so we got to keep moving forward. But uh, I did enjoy this one enough that I would consider going farther with it. So, yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself here today. I hope you got a solid dose of nostalgia. If you did, like the video, subscribe. Come back soon for another video in the ongoing quest. To try all the games in the book. A thousand one video games. Just play before you die. And we're, like, almost down to the last hundred. This is getting crazy. It's crazy. We've come so far. Guys, until next time, you take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.